Let's begin with that breaking news at 5 o'clock. Governor Ron DeSantis activating the National Guard to help deal with the migrant crisis in the Keys. The executive order coming down just this afternoon. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live in Marathon with reaction. Janine. In a statement, the governor says that the state of Florida has had a history of helping Cuban migrants and refugees, but typically there is coordination on all levels of government. He says that is something that is not happening. We can tell you we have been covering the migrant issue here for the last year, year plus here in the Florida Keys, and there has been a steady surge with a huge uptick this weekend alone. I will step out of the way and you can see this is one example. These are some migrants that are being uh, released to their families at the Border Patrol Station in Maryland. Marathon. This place, we have not seen it this busy since we have been here. Wearing flip-flops, shirts, and pants provided by Border Patrol agents, this group who says they came here from Havana by boat, now in the overflow area of the station and Marathon. Hello. Just one sign that the migrant crisis has hit critical mass, and now the governor signing this executive order, activating the National Guard, deploying more assets in the air, more officers on the water. The number of landings here in the Florida Keys continues to surge. 330 plus migrants moved off the dry Tortugas after being stranded there New Year's weekend. More than 100 migrants waiting to land in Key Largo. Five landings in the Florida Keys in the last 24 hours alone. Once again, you can see here, this is the Border Patrol station in Marathon. Mar uh, migrants being released right now to their families. You can see those are tents that are set up outside. Normally they get processed uh, inside, uh, but at this point uh, you can see those are tents because there are just so many people who have come to the Florida Keys. We did have the opportunity briefly to speak to the mayor of Monroe County. He told Local 10 he believes this is a good thing, uh, in part because a state of emergency means that they will get reimbursed for county expenses. Uh, this is once again an, an executive order that was signed by the governor, uh, effective immediately and for the next 60 days. What will we see? When will we start seeing these state assets? We will stay tuned. We're in Marathon. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10. News. And we know you're on top of the story. Janine, thanks a lot.